Well, police in Nashville have publicly released the identities of the six victims of this school shooting uh, in their city. They say that three children died. They were all nine years old. Uh, three adults were also killed. They all worked at this small Christian school and they were all in their 60s. Police have also identified the shooter, uh, a 28-year-old former student of this school. They say that the attacker arrived in the morning local time armed with two assault style weapons and a handgun that two of those weapons were purchased legally and that the six victims were shot the three children and three adults uh, when police arrived at the scene uh, within 15 minutes of the first emergency call being made uh, at which point the shooter was killed officers haven't really revealed any information yet as to what they believe might have been the motive behind this attack attack but they say that investigations are ongoing and that they have seized materials that suggest to them that this uh, shooting was planned well in advance. We have a manifesto, we have some writings that we're going over uh, that uh, pertain to this date, the actual incident. We have a map drawn out of how this was all going to take place. Uh, there's right now a theory of that's, that we may be able to talk about later, but it's not confirmed. And so we'll, we'll put that out as soon as we can. And Jade, what has been the wider reaction there? Well, US President Joe Biden has described this shooting as heartbreaking. He says that it's every family's worst nightmare. And you can see that playing out in, in the footage from outside the school in the aftermath of this attack. Uh, really terrible scenes of children being led to safety, holding hands, uh, parents rushing in, desperate for information about their kids. These are scenes that are sadly too familiar in the United States. So uh, the president reiterated his call uh, for tougher gun laws. He wants to see an, a ban on assault weapons in the US. Here is what Joe Biden had to say earlier. And uh, we have to do more to stop gun violence. It's ripping our communities apart, ripping the soul of this nation, ripping at the very soul of the nation. And we, we have to do more to protect our schools so they aren't turned into prisons. You know, uh, the shooter in this situation reportedly had two assault weapons and a pistol to AK-47. So I call on Congress again to pass my assault weapons ban. Now, this is something that Joe Biden has repeatedly called for, but there is no sign that Congress uh, would be willing to act on such a measure. There was a package uh, of gun laws passed in the wake of another horrific school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, last year. Uh, that did uh, create some strengthening of background checks, for example, also provided money for what is known as red flag laws that makes it easier to remove a gun from someone who is considered a threat to themselves or to others. Uh, that was the most significant package passed in decades, but uh, there is no expectation at this point in time that Congress would move on an assault weapons ban as the president has called for. Jade, thank you.